Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 5 of White Knight. My name is Winter and before we get rolling with this any further, a couple things to get out of the way. First off, I mentioned in the first episode that there were two sections of this game that get false copyright claims from scammers on YouTube that like to claim shit that is not theirs. And this upcoming episode that you are watching right now and the one after it is one of those sections. So if you all see an advertisement, uh, do me a favor and let me know in the comments below. I'm going to keep an eye on the analytics and watch out for them because I know they're coming. But still, uh, I don't know when they're going to be coming. So it could very well be on a day that I'm not on my computer or anything. So if you all could help me out with that, that would be fantastic. Uh, just, a, just a little favor for me. You know, nothing, just, nothing, nothing major. Just a little something, something. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And another thing, if you are one of those people that have never played White Knight before and are even remotely interested in doing so, I really don't recommend that you watch any episodes after this one. And in fact, I really don't think you should watch this one, but I know people are going to. So spoilers abound. I'm giving everybody fair warning so no one can come at me at the end of the series saying, God damn it, dude, you killed the series for me. I'm not going to play it now because I know exactly what happens. No, you've had adequate warnings throughout this playthrough. So with that being said, let's get back into it. Here we go. Alright. Up in the attic. And we are trying to restore power, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's not creepy at all, is it? There she is. Do you love me? Well, I'm not really sure, uh, but we definitely seem to be infatuated. The owner is very passionate about his books. I'd love to know what some of those are. And a light switch. What do we got here? A great musical sting, that's what we got. Fantastic stuff. I really can't say enough about the music, and I know that I have kind of talked over some bits of it. Come on, dude, you got a Margaret coming. There you go. Okay. Shit. Can't do that while holding a match. Oh, what do we got here? Picture. Witch. Well, who do you think that's supposed to be? Definitely not Miss Selena, I would assume. Without a disc, the gramophone would stay silent. Oh, shit. Did I miss something in that room? Oh, I heard her. Where'd you go? Alright, I'll tell you what. Let's go back into this room here and see if maybe we've missed a disc. In fact, it looks like there's something on the easel right here. What do we got? Uh, note to self, mother does not see almost any more in the darkness. Earlier, one of Mother's shadows sprung in front of me as I was walking past the angle of the rooms. She raised her arm towards me and grasped me. I was holding a candle, and struck by fear, I let it go. The flame was blown out, and as I was stepping back, I saw the thing freeze. She snuffled the darkness and walked away. I will remember this for sure. To escape the ghost, I need to merge with the night, clad in the same black attire. I became one of them. Okay. Uh, we'll skip over that. That'll give everybody something to come back for. So we can move that. Oh, Margaret. Get away. Oh, shit. No, no, no. I know exactly where I'm supposed to go. Okay. I'm with it now. As long as Margaret doesn't get me. Okay. 
Let's do this. Oh, Jesus, that didn't help. That kind of startled me a little bit. <laughs> Shit. Yes, right back here along this wall. Should be anyways. Should be. So what do you guys think has happened? Did Selena actually live with William? Or given his, well, let's be honest, obsessive behavior towards her, did he just kind of plant that perfume bottle in the cabinet in the bathroom that we saw a couple episodes ago? Shit. Yeah, so that's what gets the claim. I was getting closer to Selena. To whatever this all meant. But time was of the essence. We were not alone. And I could feel the dark woman entering my mind. As she was making progress, I was losing hope I'd make it out alive. Um, where'd you go? Please come back. Oh my god, she's all the way up there. So I need to stay with her, and she's going to be my shining light in darkness. And that's exactly why, right there. I like these sections, man. These are fucking cool. They're very creative. Because we've been, uh, well, what, well, we've been on a quest to find out what's happened, essentially. So it's nice to know that uh, she can actually help us as much as we seem to be helping her. There we are. Nice. Fuck yes. Margaret, we're here, let's do it. January 4th, 1896. Father had just spit his tongue. His mouth was vomiting floods of blood. He started yelling again. I ran to him. I knew it was forbidden, but Venter Cross women are strong. I wanted to put my hand on his mouth. And then he grabbed me. Oh, Lord. He grabbed me and squeezed me against him. At first I thought he was afraid. Then I felt what was left of his tongue against my breast, my shirt getting wet with blood and saliva. And I saw his eyes, the eyes of a hungry dog. I tried pushing him away. Oh Lord, I swear I tried. But he was holding me so tight. His stench was so gross I almost fainted. I had no choice. I hit him with my fist, with the rings of my grandmother gave me. There was a snap and he suddenly let me go. I broke a window pane while backing away. My hands were all red. Mother arrived with the servants. This thing is not a vent across, I yelled. I deny it. I curse it. I don't want to see it again until it's dead and rotting. They say it's in the blood, in the kids. I know one thing. When it comes to men, dignity is just a mask placed over filth. Oh. Again, begging the question, who do you feel sorry for the most? I mean, my god, everybody's got heaps of pain going on in this game. It's very... Uh. You know, I don't want to say that Margaret is a sympathetic 
villain, because I'm not really sure if she's a villain. I think she's just... Maybe, perhaps, somebody that just lost her way, given the extreme circumstances that she was put into. It's uh, very fascinating. It's a very interesting take, because, I mean, let's be honest here. Well, that was her that we just killed right there. She's not exactly the best ghost to be haunted by, is she? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know. I feel bad for everybody involved in this. I really do. Oh, gotcha. Seeing the rope, I choked. Death is contagious. Yeah, so the question is, like, who writes all this stuff on the walls? Is this William? I mean, he is confirmed Black Lake Wolf Killer, correct? So did he write everything that we are reading on the walls, or did his victims somehow break away from him and manage to not necessarily leave messages, but, you know, maybe scrawl some writings down right quick? What do you guys think happened, man? Okay. Since we are here... Ah, son of a bitch. Burn that one out. There we go. Hey, look at that. Let there be light. Since we're here, let's save right quick. Cue the music. There we are. Oh, wait, that's not... I thought that was... Oh, there we go. Book of Matches. That's what I was looking for. Okay. So far, so good, huh? That section that we just got through. I don't know if anybody ever actually did watch my speed run of this game. Get out of the way, Margaret. Fuck it, we'll go around. <laughs> but uh, that's one of those... Uh, that went surprisingly easy for me on this particular playthrough. Normally, in that section, that can go really bad. Ah, uh, there she is, waiting. God damn, listen to that music. That's good stuff. The composer did a fantastic job. It's of the era, it sets the tone and keeps it going. And it just, it works, man. It just fucking works. It's like the perfect piece that you could have for this. And my god, I can't get walking right. There we go. The picture was taken in the very same room I was standing in. That was the ground floor. The marks were leading below the stairs. That door. There was something there. Selena's calls for help were scattered all over the mansion. She was following a goal. An obsession. This part of her life she was playing in front of me. And what about me? Spending so much time in the darkness. I was losing my light. But luckily, I had a star to guide me. Didn't know that room, but it smelt like blood. I think we've been in that room, because that does look like a figure lying on the bed. And you can see the knife raised right above there. Okay, so that's all of them. Oh no, I knew that was going to happen. But yeah, that room normally goes pretty bad for me, to be honest with you. 
I'm surprised that it went as well as that just did. <clears throat> if you watched my speed run, which I don't know if anybody did or not, it actually took me about seven or eight tries when I did the uh, speed run. One of the, probably the most patience testing area in the game for me personally. Oh, look at that. Another timely matchbox. Hey! Come on, dude, just talk to her. Seeing Selena flee strengthened my belief something darker was closing in. A wolf hidden amongst men. It felt like finding a lost love, like being on the brink of losing it again. I had to be quick. Oh shit. Oh. Selena fled men, just like William, the so-called Black Lake Wolf, had fled his mother. The real wolf was in the blood. It was the night of the world. Its fangs, sunken deep in the flesh of America, had poisoned us all long ago. Okay, I think he may be done talking now, so let's grab a save right quick. And then we'll head out of here. Yeah, so I think it's confirmed now that we are trying to help Selena out, at least bring her soul to peace. Uh, you know, it could just be an astral projection of some sort. You know, maybe she's in pain somewhere in the house and we're going to track her down. What do you guys think, huh? What's the theories going on out there for everybody that's been keeping up? I'm curious, you know? What do you guys think so far? What's what's your interpretations of what we've seen going on? And would you follow Selena? Would you help her out? And oh my goodness, there's blood right there. And a phone call. Let's call for help and get out of here. Hello? Uh, Who are you? Hear me. Need help. Oh, no. No. No, it can't be. No! Huh. You don't have a discussion with yourself every day. At least, not on the phone. The world had folded back on itself like a piece of paper. I didn't want to know more. The harm was already done. Jesus, that is creepy. Brilliantly done. So this is absolutely not a house that we want to be in any longer. So, let's see if we can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, you hush! Leave me alone. And camera angle work with me. Oh shit, there's a Margaret. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah. Okay, let's try this shit again. That's why we save. One more time. Maybe we'll take a shortcut through the bedroom this time around, huh? Maybe that's what we were supposed to do all along, and I just messed it up. Oh my goodness, the fire is still going. That's fantastic. That's good firewood. What? 
Dude, we restored the power. That switch should be going good. <gasps> oh my god, I'm in the wrong bedroom. Oh no! Oh no! Shit! <laughs> oh fuck! God damn it! One more time! Let's do it right this time. So we can't cut through the bedroom. We're just gonna have to run down this fucking hallway and see if we can just avoid the the Margarets. Oh, what I what I trip on? Must be the blood stains, huh? I never noticed that before. That's a that's a nice touch. Oh shit! Light. Oh, god damn it. And the switch doesn't work anyways. Son of a bitch. Ugh. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stick to the hallway this time and see if we can make it. Not sure if I should be running, but ah, oh, she's got our... We've got her attention, I should say. Okay. She's not coming. Oh, she is. Son of a bitch. Okay, Margaret. Oh, my God. Where am I going? Ah, oh, right into her. Motherfucker. New plan. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go into the bedroom at the end of the hall where I... the last bedroom that I died in. And we're going to see if we can't fire up that candle and take Margaret out and use the save station in here. Just like that. Okay, thank God. Because damn, I was getting tired of coming down that attic again and again. <laughs> so hopefully I just haven't screwed us by coming in here. You know, it's a little bit tricky in scenarios like that, but the cool thing is, is there is always a save station close by. You've just got to navigate to them. Oh, and there's that awesome music. That's probably been playing for a while, huh? I just never noticed it before. Alright. We're downstairs. Let's get the fuck out of here, because the door is open. Reason would have it for me to go away. But Reason had left me a long time ago. I'd made a choice. A choice which made me feel like I was taking my destiny back in my own hands. What do you guys think? Smart decision or stupid decision? I'm kind of borderline myself, but uh, it's a very noble thing to do. I could smell from here the scent of murder and madness which emanated from below. Selena's story was one of light, trying to survive in the night of a nation long corrupted by darkness. I have to admit it. I was afraid of what I would find at the end of that path. There we are. So we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. If you have watched this, ignoring the spoiler warning, if you've never played this game before, well, there's your reason why. <laughs> so don't watch the next few episodes either if this ruined it for you. Because I'm telling you, if you're remotely interested, pick it up. But at, it, at any rate, thank you all for watching episode 5 of White Knight. I'm curious to hear if anybody's got any theories as to what's going on. So feel free, man. Let's speculate. Let's see what we can get going on in terms of a discussion and what you think is happening and why it's happening. Uh, but anyways, my name's been Winter. You've been great. 
and I'll see you on the next episode of White Knight, where shit gets real. See ya.